Well, today on The Boiling Point, we have Keith Knowles all the way from England. He's over here at Boiler University right now doing auto flame school. But we're going to pick his brain, and he's going to be talking about gas pressure on the Limsfield burner. Let's go take a listen. Okay, my name's Keith Knowles from Limsfield Combustion. Many people ask me what makes our burner work differently than a lot of other people's, and it's really about pressure and pressure drops. So one of the things about our gas manifold is we're trying to make the pressure drop, the last point is at the injection as it leaves the gas head. So typically what we're using is the autoflame gas valve on all of our burners. However, many people mistakenly use the gas valves to scrub pressure. And these gas valves are metering valves and they should control the volume of the gas going through the gas head to allow the gas head to have the pressure drop. So we're really trying to make sure we get the pressure drops coming from the gas regulator, the gas trains, and to the burner correct in the first place. If we don't have enough gas pressure, then we won't have the right gas pressure at the burner. So we need to allow for all of the correct pressure drops. The real, again, the real thing we're trying to get here is to make sure that we have the right gas pressure at the burner head. So we have a gas regulator, then our main gas valves, then our autoflame butterfly valve, and then the injection point at the head. Providing we've got the correct pressure at the start of the gas train, we'll go all the way through to the gas head and make sure we get the right gas pressure at that head. At that point, it's almost like having your finger over a garden hose. If you don't have any pressure and you're just watering, with your, watering your plants with a hose, the water's just going to come out and the trickle. The idea is if I then put my thumb over the hose, I can inject that. I can squirt some water or some flowers in different areas. Okay, so it's like putting a jet on the hose. That's the kind of thing that I'm trying to explain when I'm talking to customers and to other techs. How are burners different? We want to have that injection at that point. If you use the autoflame gas valve to uh, throttle back, and control the pressure, then it's almost like having someone over there treading on the middle of the hose, and all of a sudden now I don't have any pressure at my burner as they're controlling the pressure from an external, external source. Okay, so I want to have the autoflame gas valve meter in the burner, opening up properly, allowing the right gas flow to come through to my burner, and then I want to control the injection at the head. That allows me to get the right flame speed, the right gas meeting, the 3% O2, which is our guarantee at uh, all times. Don't forget, we want that 3%, that injection, 3% O2 at high fire, all the way down to low fire. Okay, that's the guarantee that we're offering, and that's what we're trying to achieve. If you had the gas train set up incorrectly, if you had the gas meter valve commissioned and set up incorrectly, at that point, you will not get good combustion. If you're going to get that wrong, you're going to end up with CO, you're going to have high O2s, and that's going to give you problems, and it's going to cost you money. It's going to cost you energy, and it's going to cost you fuel savings. Appreciate Keith hanging out with us and talking about gas pressure to the limbs field. We always want to take advantage when they come over and are teaching on Autoflame that we pick their brain and bring something good to you. We'll make sure you like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter, and if you don't mind, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as always, go out there and see steam culture and also the weekly boiler tips. And we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.